But is it is it really true that when to get to get a made you showed up at Guillermo del Toro's doorstep with a handful of sketches and a trunk full of tequila to, to pitch him? Absolutely, man. This the, every time I tell the story, I get to relive it, and like again, like hair, white hair comes out, and like. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, you know, he's my hero, Guillermo del Toro. I think I love Iñárritu and I love Cuarón, uh, but Guillermo, especially because of the fantasy, he's he's always been my hero, mm. uh, and I. I had made El Tigre and El Tigre had done pretty well. It won, you know, it won seven Emmys. So at that point, uh, when we started developing the Book of Life, uh, they said, who would be your dream producer? And I was like, wow, Guillermo del Toro would be my dream producer. Are you kidding me? So we tried to get him. He turned me down 15 times. Literally, this is meetings that we were set up where I would drive to the meeting and I would see him like getting his car and drive off. It was like a cartoon. And I remember all the producers going like, he just doesn't want to do this. We're wasting time. Uh, but I was like, no, I want to get a no, a no from his face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I want, I want that picture. So finally, uh, you know, now we're friends and he, 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 he admits to me that he was fed up and he's like, bring him to my house so I can say no to him, to his face. Yeah. We go to his house. Uh, I show up with, you know, we had my cats, we had all this art. Uh, obviously we had the tequila and uh, he had given me 30 minutes to pitch him the movie. He gave me a tour of his house, which is in the in the Kronos uh, extended edition uh, bonus features. You can see the crazy, beautiful house he has. It's like a museum. Uh, and he gives me a tour of the house and I'm like peeing my pants. I'm so nervous. Finally, it's time for us to, to go outside and pitch in the movie. And man, it was those moments where I, you know, I said, this is, this is it, ancestors. <laughs> get in me and, and come through and uh and just as i'm you know opening my mouth at this point yeah you know ya me agarro confianza. like he we're buddies so he's like Gordo, you have five minutes so i was like what i've been practicing the 30 minute pitch all right ancestors give me the strength i take this giant breath and then i kid you not our people our people betrayed me and the mansion next door there was three leaf blower guys. And it was it was almost like they were waiting for me to open my mouth. Because as soon as I opened my mouth, they were like, orale way. And so like a wave of sound, like So I remember looking at Guillermo and like yelling at him, Guillermo, <laughs> wait until they're done. And he goes, Gordo, four minutes. <laughs> So I pitched him the worst version of the movie you can imagine in four minutes, and I almost fall in the pool. And one of our producers just he couldn't take it. He just left. He was like, I've seen enough. The disastrous meeting. I'm I'm drenched in sweat. We go back to his house and I just apologize to him. I'm like, Yeah, I'm so sorry I wasted your time. Uh, you know, looking for him to give me some some hope. Uh, and he just destroyed me. He goes, uh, I said, oh, you know, I'm sorry about the, the crappy pitch. And he goes, ah, that's, the, that's the worst pitch I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so I'm even more devastated. And then he goes, sit down. And he goes, I have two daughters. We would watch El Tigre on Saturday mornings. I know you. I know your sense of humor. I know your art. But most importantly, I know how much you love Mexico. And I love how much, and I love how you see it. So of course I'm going to produce your movie. So then, you know, I stood up and I, I was drenched and I, and I, and he was drenched because it was so hot. And I'd like to believe that our liquids combined at that moment, <laughs> and I got some DNA from him. <laughs> and then, uh, and then he said, you know, if you didn't write the script, you're not a real director. And thankfully, I had written the script, so I ran to my car. The tequila bottle I had bought broke, and so the script was drenched in tequila. So I run back and I'm like blowing on it. <laughs> And I hand it to him, and he you know, grabs it with his beautiful, meaty hands, and he huh. eyes it, and then he smelled it. And he goes, this is a good script. <laughs> <laughs> you signed that as a producer. What an incredible story.